Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. So this time we are gonna talk about Reda and Helix Tor. So Reda, his shop, it sucks straight from the get go. This week's selection, <laughs> yeah, that is pretty pretty awful. Tattoos, old gear, and that is actually not the worst part. The worst part in Reda shop is the pricing. Look at that, one tattoo for both hands, head, back or front, all of them are costing 35 opals and we are only getting two dailies worth of 10 opals, one weekly worth of 20 opals, so in my opinion that is not worth it at all. And talking about the tattoos, 5 times 35, yeah 175 opals. If you are getting the full set of the tattoos, so yeah, that is 25 opals more than we are paying for the mounts. And for the mounts and ravens, we are having a big, big pricing issue, at least in my opinion, for those as well. So, burn, Reda, burn. Also, there will be a couple more things in the end of the video that Dark Strider and I have been talking about that could actually make the game a little bit more replayable in the end of the game so stay tuned for that one as well and if you think Reda's pricing is way way too high let me know by hitting the like button so from Reda's overpriced shop we are moving to other way way too pricey or too confusing pricing that is called the helix store and of course we have to start this one with the tattoos. So the full set of the tattoos are actually costing 200 helix credits. That is 175 opals at Reda when they are coming there one by one. So are you seeing what I'm talking about? 200 helix credits and 175 opals. Yeah, costing more than mounts at Reda. And also they are costing less. In helix store than any mount or raven so yeah i'm calling bs on this one but at least these and a couple other things in helix store the packs are costing exactly the same no matter if they are new or old but that is not the case for everything and we will cover that in one bit so for example let's go to the gear sets without the mounts or weapons so just the gear and you might already see the pricings on these ones I know I have some items already from some packs but yeah there is a lot of things this pack 800 some full packs 500 and yeah there is a lot of issues with these pricings I think the older ones yes they should be a little bit cheaper but we can see huge differences for the armor sets and what makes this even worse the armor sets well some of them they are reskins of already existing armor sets from the main game that are completely free of course the perks are different but still let's take a look on some of the weapons and for those actually the pricing I am not gonna rant about those because as we can see they are costing 350 helix credits each doesn't matter new old all weapons cost the same so that is actually pretty good and they are costing exactly the same at Redas so I think that is how it should be for everything and yeah the pricing on the weapons it is currently it is pretty decent so why it's not implemented on everything and why Reda, Helix Store, Ubisoft, why there is so many issues with Reda selection, with the pricing and what comes to selection, yeah it doesn't seem to be random it is just awful. And now to the good stuff, for example the new disc lion 850 helix credits 
Yeah, and we will take a quick look of other ones. For example, Swartar, aka Black, 800. Many of the little bit newer mounts, 800. But for example, Dunaver, 500 heal heal credits, and this has been on Reda multiple times. Warhorse, 400. That is the range, so from 400 to 850. And every single one of these, they are costing at Reda 150 opals. And some are even double the price in the Helix store. And from the get go, I really think the mounts and the ravens, they are costing way, way, way too much already. And if Reda really is quote unquote random, or his selection is random, yeah, we shouldn't see many of these mounts and ravens, especially the dragons. So where are my dragons? That is the question that I have been asking for weeks now. So Ubisoft, where? Where are they? They are in the Helix store and even they are varying in the pricing. So 500 for that one, but absolute disappointments are the Buffy and the Bald Eagle. They are costing 250 to 300 and the Dragons, they are costing 600, 650 on the most parts. And you know it, they are exactly the same price of ripe 150 opals at Reda. So from 250 to 650, yeah, I just don't see that to be fair by any means. When the selection is so broken that more and more people are actually seeing that the pricing is not fair. The amounts of opals that we are getting, they are not fair. So either drop the cost or give us more opals. And here we are having another example on the ship cosmetics. They are costing exactly the same, no matter how old or new they are as well. And they are costing the same 35 opals per piece at Reda and so are the decorations. And I actually don't mind these being a little bit pricier than for example the tattoos. These are costing way way higher than the tattoos and still they are the same price at Reda and that needs to be changed. At least in my opinion. If you agree with me leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. Should this cost less in Helix store and at Reda? And should we get more opals for the dailies? And I have one or basically two more things coming that actually could solve a little bit of this problem. Not all, but some. And again, look at these pricings. So full zip cosmetic set will cost you 500 to 600 depending are you buying it as a pack or are you buying the figurehead and the tailpiece and other cosmetics separately yeah and that is another huge issue at least in my opinion so if you decide and you don't have the money to buy everything as a pack it will cost you a lot of more for the same items everything decoration that two related they are costing the same at Reda and that is absolutely garbage in my mind so quick recap everything will cost the same in helix store except the mounts ravens and the gear packs the weapons decorations tattoos they are costing exactly the same but yeah with the price i think there is an issue with that one and of course with the opals that we are gonna buy them from reda at some point if ubisoft ever decides to fix Reda selection because like said before it doesn't feel random anymore it usually just garbage to push the players to buy these items from the helix store with their hard earned cash and real money of course it's totally your decision if you decide to buy anything from the helix store but yeah the way the game 
is at the moment broken over one year so why should we spend as promised i have a couple solutions that i did discuss with dark strider link to his channel will be in the description box down below so chips cosmetics i think in one shop the heck will fit perfectly here and that will give us a good reason to play the river raid mode again again and again so like three items two items per week in there like and for ways. the decorations and tattoos i think hilderans wears or hilderans shop that would be perfect weekly spot for them as well so there will be point of playing the mastery challenges again again and again also that way we actually could drop red selection back to three items per week like guaranteed mount weapon and gear so mount slash raven one weapon and one gear piece item on top of the dailies I need nothing. so I let me know raven. your thoughts in the comments down below also vikings thanks for watching remember have fun stay safe be strong hit the like hit the sub turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that i upload or when i go live hope to see you in the next one but for now skatha over and out and bye bye